Who's gonna win the old knob bone challenge? <laughs> What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome to the third and final part of the old Knobbone build around challenge. If you do not know what this challenge is, basically we asked you guys to build a deck around old Knobbone that could feature old Knobbone as the main card in the deck or build around the mechanics, in particular the treasure tokens that old Knobbone creates. Uh, and we got a really fun deck for you today. Now. We are judging these decks on two parameters, that is the number of wins, so max of three there, and a one to five creative scale, so five being the most. The idea is to put together the most creative deck you possibly can. If you absolutely blow us away, you get a five. Anything less than that, we're going to rank uh, on that one to four kind of uh, scale there. So it's going to be a really fun time. So far, Bread and Fried is in the lead with seven points. We got all three wins and a score of four on the creativity line. Now, now, the winner of each of these weeks does get a free proxy pack that is filled with five really awesome digital proxies that we create and then print for you guys. Those are normally only available through Patreon, as you probably saw at the beginning of the video, but we make them available to everybody here as long as you win this challenge week. If we do tie, don't worry, both the winners are going to be able to get those proxies. So without further ado, let's jump into today's deck. All right, guys, and here we are. We have got Ace with a very interesting list. Before we jump into that, I just want to remind you, next week's Build Around card has already been chosen. It is Arcane Adaptation. Again, if you want to submit any list for that, please check out the Discord link and the Challenge Submissions channel in that Discord. But let's talk about today's deck because it's an interesting one. Uh, so the idea is essentially to bust out as many artifacts or treasure tokens as you possibly can and then basically proc all of these little guys to, to just kind of stack. Uh, now to double up on all of the treasure tokens we do have anointed procession so this is going to come down hopefully put twice as many treasure tokens on the field as possible and then the idea is to get things like fire weaver down which whenever an artifact enters the battlefield deal one damage to an opponent it. Ingenious Smith, whenever uh, an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, one or more I should say, put a 1-1 counter on it. This only triggers once, once each turn, but still very powerful. Daring Archaeologist, whenever you cast a Historic Spell, put a 1-1 counter on Daring Archaeologist. And then we've got a lot of other little equipment pieces. This does pull out a uh, historic card from our top five, which is really, really nice as well. And then we do have a good bit of ramp. So we've got cultivate migration path uh, and so on. Now, to, to put this in perspective, I'm giving this a rating of four. Uh, Ace, I did see that you had made some initial change. The initial list we actually rated a bit lower. This is the updated list, so Ace, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I think this is a really cool one because it can go over the top. Little less old Gnawbone focus, but it does very heavily focus on the mechanics, so we're still going to put it up there as a four for you, my friend. Thank you again so much for the submission. That does mean, however, to tie you have to get all three wins. So let's see if we can do that today. Good luck to you, my friend. Let's jump right in. And here we are, guys, for game number one. Now, do we want to keep this? Uh, I actually think we do. With the Smith here, I think we can actually go for it. Uh, this does give us a nice two with hopefully a little bit of card selection off the top, but then in, in, uh, in true fashion, we get to follow that up with a plate armor, which is going to bust this thing up a little bit. So let's see what we can do. Go ahead and lead off of the Sacred Foundry here. We obviously don't need to take two damage for anything. Let's just jump right in. Uh, Ace, I love the creativity here. I do think this is a very good one. The only reason it did not get a five was because it was, uh, I think, a little, it was two-sided a little bit. Uh, and what I mean by that is while Old Knobbone is obviously a big part of this deck to really make it go off, and it can certainly go over the top, I have done it in testing, uh, I think it's a little more focused on just the historic aspect in general. So we've got obviously some artifacts, equipments, things like that, all very, very good, but not necessarily quite as Old Knobbone focused. Otherwise, I think this would be a very easy uh, five. But regardless, we've got some really great stuff to go for here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this, and we can actually go ahead and equip this up. 
uh, and get in there for a early attack. Uh, get three damage in. That's a very solid turn three play, to be honest. Uh, hopefully next turn we can get a land. If not, we do have the plate armor, but I'd like to get migration path down. We have the old knob bones, so the goal here is going to definitely be just to uh, throw down that old knob bone and get a bunch of artifacts out uh, that we can use to power some stuff up here. But we will see. Old Knobbone has been a really fun build around card. I'm very glad we selected that as our first one. Uh, it just seems so fun. Uh, very nice. Look at this. Okay, they're going to get an attack in. I like it. They did scry to the bottom, which is quite nice. Um, so, yeah, I have very much enjoyed Old Knobbone. I think Arcane Adaptation leaves a lot more room uh, for some very very creative build so I'm, i have high expectations for next week is what i will say uh but i'm very excited i think it's going to be a really good time so we'll see what happens uh all right so we can do a couple things here we can't just plate armor um we could also uh just migration path and kind of push our way here um i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go migration path here uh this does mean we have to take two of course but I think it's worth it. It's going to get us a couple more lands. Uh, we do need a second green at least. And honestly, I'm just going to get two green sources here. Kind of be very straightforward. But this also allows us to then play plate armor and equip it. So it also, uh, this coming turn, or honestly, just Embercleave, uh, <laughs> all of which are good options. So we'll see how this one goes. A little worried about what they could have here. They did scry the last card to the top last turn. Uh, they bottomed the first, but then scribed the, uh, the second one to the top. So I'm curious as to what they might have here. Uh, also guys, you may have noticed, and I don't know for sure because I'm recording this first. I wanted to make sure we got this one out, but, um, yesterday we may or may not have had a video. I'm actually out of town. So I'm recording this early, like way early. So I can make sure that this stays on track since this is the challenge stuff. I wanted to make sure that we all had this. Oh no, sad day. Uh, that's not good. Um, yep, sad day. We lost it. Uh, but we, uh, we, I, I, again, wanted to make sure that we had this, but if we didn't have anything yesterday, I do apologize. I wanted to make sure that I, uh, let everybody know it's not because we, uh, we didn't want to, it's because we were literally not here. So, uh, we do kind of have to do this. Um, let's throw this here. Double strike and haste. Uh, I mean... What is this? I think uh, you may attach. Oh, decline. It's already there. Uh, didn't actually have to pay for that. That's kind of funny. So this is a double striker, which is pretty good. Um, they do just kind of want to block it, I assume, but that's still pretty solid. All right. That's the trouble with uh, this this little Jal Riel. Riel. This this thing, this lady, uh, because she just spits out little tutus. But thankfully, Embercleave does provide trample. Uh, which could be really good. We'll see. Plate armor is also just really nice. So uh, it's a nice plus three, plus three, which is pretty solid. Uh, ooh, okay. We might just die this turn too. Um, giant growth is very good. Oh, and they can uh, Domri's ambush here. So we, I think, might just be dead. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. We're, we're here to have fun. So don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they got us. Sad day. Uh, honestly though, it's not. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. Okay. They got it. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. They definitely have it. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. I'm going to concede. Let's jump into game two. All right, Ace, here we are for game number two. This is a pretty solid keep, actually, so we're going to go for it. Now, sadly, because we lost that first game, that does take you out of the running. But you know what? We're going to enjoy the last couple games. We're going to have a really good time with a really fun deck. Ace, thank you again so much for the submission. I really do appreciate it. We'll have a great time regardless, because that's what we do here. We are a fun-loving family. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the Fire Weaver down. I actually really like the Fire Weaver as a turn two play, by the way. It's very nice because it blocks a good bit and it doesn't die just to like a shock, if that makes sense. So there's a there's a lot of positive there. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to cultivate naturally. Uh, what do we need? Really doesn't matter that much. We've got plenty of mana. Um, 
go ahead and get an attack in. Anything we can do to keep their life total below that that 20, anytime you see life gain, guys, 27 is the magic number generally, uh, because they probably will have Speaker of the Heavens, something along those lines, and you want to make sure you can keep them away from that life total. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, I really wish, I mean, let's, uh, let's attack first. Let's see what they do. They may not do anything. I have no idea. Looks like they're not going to do anything. All right. Um, well, with that in mind, part of me just wants to cultivate here. Um, but I guess one, two, three, four, five. No, we do want to cultivate here. That gives us old knob bone next turn, uh, which is very much worth it. So I'm just going to go for it. Uh, it also means this daring, if they, you know, sweep or something random like that, not that they would for a reckless fire weaver, I think, but if they happen to, it just allows us to, um, ah, this is that deck. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's get an attack in. We at least deal a little bit of damage here. Uh, and next turn we should be able to deal quite a bit of damage, but they might have a sweeper. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what I'm really worried about is them having the, the Faceless Haven. That is the problem card for sure. Um, let's do this first. Uh, miss. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, all right, let's play Daring Archaeologist and let's play another Smith. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Um, we'll do this. What this is going to do is basically bolster up every little thing here. Uh, which is really good. And deal the damage. All right. I mean, we're giving ourselves like the best shot possible. <laughs> um, this is what's really cool about this list. Ace, this is the fun part for sure. Uh, and I'll go ahead and cultivate because why not? There's no reason really not to. It's just deck thinning at this point. So if they happen to sweep or, you know, something like that happens, we just have a way to... Uh, to claw ourselves back into the game with less lands in our deck, um, theoretically. Harmonize. Okay. Harmonize is great, but it's not going to do it. Um, I'm just going to attack with everything, because why not? Um, I guess we should have waited, but I think... I think it's fine. They're going to have to block old Knobbone, clearly, um, and they probably just block here as well, but this is more than enough to still kill them. Thanks to the treasure tokens. Look at that. Ace, my friend, we did it. We did it. We got a win. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game three. Let's see if we can get one more. All right, and here we are for our third and final game. Now, this isn't a super exciting hand, if I'm honest. Uh, we don't have a ton that we can do, but I actually kind of want to try it. If we uh, we get something with Board the Weatherlight, we might be able to play it. And then, of course, Migration Path is here to jump us into this old knob, and we'll, we'll see if it works. Um, thankfully, Ace, the pressure is off, my friend. The pressure is off. Unfortunately, the pressure is off, but it is. So we are just going to have a good time. Oh, very good. Okay. That's really solid. Uh, that's a nice little turn three into turn four to get us to that old knob bone even faster. Uh, I'm all too happy to play with that. So let's do it. Uh, and of course we do have board the weather light here for our next play. So we do have a nice two, three, four. We'll take an old knob bone. Uh, why not? Um, just a nice little backup in case they have a way to deal with the first, which they probably do. It is Abzan here. So I'm not going to be surprised if they've got all kinds of problematic things we will say uh let's do this let's cultivate we do need to get both of these so we'll put the red source down first uh and then i know we've got some options we can halvar uh and just kind of throw that out with a land not a bad option uh that way we could also boots of speed and go ahead and get an attack in if we wanted or we could just leave it up uh as a blocker as well so We'll see. Uh, they did not play a land, I don't believe. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we'll uh, see what happens. Uh, you may attach her. Hmm. Did I miss why that didn't happen? I may have. Uh, in my head, that probably should have, but that's okay. 
Uh, we'll see what happens next turn. We do have that migration path, so even if they deal with Halvar, we're just going to probably migration path and then be able to uh, deal with whatever they've got. I assume they just exile Halvar. Seems like the best option. Yeah. Seems good. Um, we do have haste, though, so any creature we have or we draw could... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, that's interesting. Um, no, I think the play right now is definitely just to start pulling out some more lands. We'll just get to here. Uh, we'll play another Boots of Speed. Uh, thankfully, we're not under... I mean, we have some pressure on us. Toski is drawing them cards as well as Kaya, which is a very frustrating card to deal with uh, because it's so well set up. Ooh, that's a good one as well. Um, but this actually sets us up quite nicely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more land. If we can get a land off the top, we can old Gnawbone right off the bat uh, and theoretically deal with this. Um, that's not going to do it. Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, I think the play is just going to be to old Gnawbone here. This is just a way of blocking whatever they do um, or making them utilize the Kaya here and trade. Uh, both of which are perfectly fine by me, but the Reckless Fire Weaver could be a really nice second follow-up here, uh, along with Anointed Procession, and we might just be able to kind of sneak in a little bit of a, a win, um, but we'll see. Worth noting, if they uh, if this dies, it does go back to the hand and they get a 1-1 Spirit, uh, which is very good. Ooh, that changes the math. Okay. It does have Vigilance as well, which is such a frustrating... <laughs> uh thing gains trample okay um okay so they are gonna trade interesting um okay i'll take it um i mean we're taking 10 here that's a lot that is a massive amount of damage um and truth be told they're probably yeah they're they've got a solid little abzan build here so it's gonna be very tricky to deal with but believe in us uh they're gonna draw two cards they've already drawn so many uh this is a cool little list very synchronous list i like that uh hey so we may not find ourselves a second win here but you know what we've had a fun time with your deck i really do appreciate uh the fact that you uh provided this to us because it's been very very fun um i mean the play is just old knob and there's nothing else we can really do we could try and play like the Fire Weaver or something like that, but it's just not going to do anything to to save us here. We really need to get something that could at least kill the Elder Gargaroth, maybe. Um, and we'll see if this actually works. I doubt it. I'm assuming they've got removal in their deck uh, or maybe a backup Kaya. Again, they've drawn quite a number of cards here, so I would assume that they could probably just win this. Oh, OK. Yeah, there we go. Sad day. We didn't even stand a chance in this game. They uh, they really, really took over the game early. We did keep a slightly sketchy hand, to be fair. We had no early game other than ramp. But to be honest, normally that's not the end of the world, so I'm a little, little surprised it went this south, but that's okay. That's a good game from us. Well done, opponent. Let's, uh, Ace, let's chat about your deck, my friend. All right, so Ace, unfortunately, only got one win there, and that does put your final score up to five. Unfortunately, that's not good enough to beat our amazing uh, Wednesday deck, which, who was the Wednesday deck? Why can't I remember? Oh, Breaded and Fried, duh, we announced it earlier. So Breaded and Fried, you have won, my friend. You have gotten the win for the old Knobbone Challenge. Congratulations, I really do appreciate everybody for their submissions. It's really nice to see you guys creating some really awesome decks, uh, and they do are they are genuinely awesome. Now, again, if you are left out of any of these challenge weeks, please don't feel bad. Uh, it's not that we didn't like your deck, it's just we've gotten more than enough submissions and we've only got three slots, so we're gonna do the best we can to kind of cycle it around a little bit, but we need more people. We need more people submitting. So if you're one of our normal deck submitters, Please do share this with any of your friends. Please share it with anybody in the community. I would love to see what other people can come up with. I think it'd be a really fun time uh, to see if they can, you know, take down some of these, these uh, regular mainstays of the challenge weeks. But guys, thank you again. Really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic weekend again. If I didn't have a video up yesterday, I apologize. We'll be back on Monday. But I love you all. Have a great weekend.